How long does it take to make a first impression? Faster than you think. Hey, would you look at that? Last week, we talked about being coffee worthy, and today, it's on a sweatshirt. It's magic. In our last video, I taught you about your goal of becoming coffee worthy. In fact, coffee worthy is probably the best way to describe a great salesperson. Is that someone you would want to have to sit down and have a cup of coffee with? But here's a different question. What is the worst possible way to describe a salesperson? Arrogant? Pushy? Obnoxious? Well, look, they all fit. But how about this description? As the worst description of a salesperson, he grows on you. Don't worry, he grows on you. Really? He grows on you? No, no, no. Fungus grows, not salespeople. You don't have time to grow on people. And why? Because people just aren't that patient. You see, you have to ask the question, how long does it take to make a first impression? And the answer is it's quicker than you think. There was an interesting study done by two Princeton psychologists and it was aimed to answer that question. And they did that in a 2006 psychological science article. Subjects were shown photos of various people and asked them to rate that person's characteristics. Things like trustworthiness, competence, intelligence, and likability. Now those subjects could take as much time as they wanted to make those assessments. Then they took a second group of subjects and showed them the same photos. But this time, the subjects had just one-tenth of a second to make a decision. That's it. A fraction of a second. So what was the outcome? The assessments were consistent regardless of the amount of time spent looking at the photo. Those with just a fraction of a second came away with very vivid opinions. Now, if you're like me, you're thinking, that's not even fair. I mean, my own mother taught me from a young age, don't judge a book by its cover. Sorry, mom. And yet, it's true. If I show you a photo for one-tenth of a second, you'll come away with impressions. You can't help it. It's the way we're wired. Now, part of this goes back to a very primitive part of our brain. We meet someone for the very first time and we have to decide, is this a friend or is this a foe? Friend or foe? In a far more primitive environment, we don't have time for a five minute detailed analysis. We make a snap judgment. The application to sales is obvious. Well, your customers are human and they're going to judge you quickly, whether you like it or not. But when they like you, everything changes. Here's why. It's called the halo effect. You see, if I like you instantly right out of the gate, I will continue to like you until you prove to be unlikable. The converse of that is also true. If I don't like you right away, I will continue to not like you. So what do we do with all this? Three quick techniques to ensure instant likability. One, make the likability commitment in advance. You don't have to fake it. Be likable. Decide in advance that you will be your best self. This is where the pre-shot routine mentality will help you. Golfers have this pre-shot routine that they go through in their mind. You should do that too. Before you meet with a customer, decide to be your best self. Second, think facial posture. Think about the lift to the face because that's what we do. We read the energy and we read it in the face and particularly the eyes more than anywhere else. Think about good, strong facial posture. And third, smile before they see you. Sometimes I'm the very first person to board a plane. I always pay attention to the flight attendants right off the bat. Are they smiling even when the passengers aren't around? See, everyone knows when you're planting that smile on. You don't need to fake this. Now look, this isn't difficult. It just requires focus on your part. But then you need to turn that focus into a habit. 
You can learn to be likable. You can learn to be coffee worthy. And if you need a physical reminder of that goal, then I've got just the thing. You've asked for it and now it's here. I must be now a real YouTuber because we've got merch. For a limited time, we've got a brand new Always Be Coffee Worthy line of awesome apparel and gifts. You can get a t-shirt, you can get the sweatshirt that I'm wearing right now, wristbands, socks, and of course, coffee mugs. There's a limited collection that we're only selling through 2020, so head over to shop.jeffshow.com to stock up on your holiday gifts. The link is also in the description below. Always be coffee worthy, my friends. See you next time, and remember, learn more to earn more.